Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. This game has stood the test of time, becoming the most actively speedrun Kingdom Hearts game in the entire series, with over 200 runners on the PS4 leaderboard and over 20 active runners pushing the game to its limits on consoles and PC. Over the past few years, the world's first sub-210 barrier was broken on the PS4 version by C.A. Templeton, followed by yours truly, and later I was able to break the world's first sub-150 barrier on PC, with press O to attack and you that very close behind. But what if I told you that there is a glitch that exists that could potentially save upwards of 10 to 20 minutes to potentially help us break the speedrun's sub-130 barrier? On April 11th, 2017, my good friend Zantetsuken posted a short clip of him fighting some Heartless right before the entrance to Final Rest, when suddenly he came across an absolutely mind-blowing glitch. Take a look at this yourself, and then I will explain how it works. So what you just saw is what I like to call the Infinite Sword Glitch, named after a very similar glitch in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In Ocarina of Time, the way the Infinite Sword Glitch, or ISG, works is after pressing a very specific combination of inputs while interacting with an item that uses the A button, Link's sword will have a constant hitbox and will deal damage to nearby enemies without needing to swing the sword at all. In KH1, this glitch is very similar, except you do have to swing the Keyblade, but when the Keyblade touches the enemy, it deals damage on every single frame. That means that one swing could potentially deal 60 hits of damage to an enemy in just one second. However, this glitch, to this day, has never been replicated, and we have no idea how to get this working purposefully. That is why today I am announcing a bounty for the first person who can consistently replicate this glitch. I will be awarding $100 to you if you can replicate this glitch specifically in the fight right before final rest, just like in the original video, and I'll be awarding $500 if someone can activate this glitch anywhere outside of that specific fight. And remember, there needs to be a consistent setup, and the setup for this glitch must come with a detailed explanation. If anybody watching is able to meet one of these two criteria for the bounty, feel free to DM me on Twitter at ViolinGamer or on Discord, ViolinGamer number 8059. With KH1's infinite sword glitch, we could potentially shred through the HP of every single boss in the game, which would completely change KH1's speedrunning as we know it. This would definitely cause some commotion in the community and lead to the creation of a no major glitches category, but I believe that as a speedrunning community, we should always strive towards progress, and I am just playing my part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, and let me know in the comments if you would like more scripted content like this. I hope you all have a wonderful day.